to please my grandkids. They got all wired up about this. They said, Captain America, are you kidding me? Oh, hey. I said, did you see the last film I did? No, I, I haven't seen that yet, but I will. Uh, I did it because it was different. Just something new to do at this point in my life. And so I just wanted to try it. Well, he's a, a minor character in, in the overall scheme of things, but, but considering the plot, an important one. Well, they're very kind, they're very gentle, they're very um, respectful, and they also take no prisoners. Uh, they have a very strong idea of what, what they want to do, and they're pretty committed to doing it in their own way. I like that. They have a vision for this film that's theirs. I also appreciate it when a filmmaker has a vision that they stay connected to and, and, and enforce to the best of their abilities. What's really interesting about these guys <clears throat> is, yeah, they're brothers, but, but they work so wonderfully together, it's sort of symphonic. In other words, they have such, there's such a gentle respect for each other. So I used to get these comic books, go into my closet with a flashlight and read them. I love them. And they were a big part of my life as a kid, so I, I can fully understand why that kind of animation also when it's compressed into a short frame, a short storytelling frame, is very appealing to a young kid. Um, I think because of my love for comics when I was little, I then went on to really appreciate literature in a, in a greater sense. But when I was a kid, I mean, I, and I almost, uh, I, love the, I love the idea of maybe being one of them. I think this film will probably bring a, a fresh new look to it because of that reality. So when you mix reality with some of the extreme stuff that goes on, I think it's probably gonna make it more interesting.